Here's an example of using Hess's law with some chemical reactions. And this, we have three chemical reactions here that we're going to put together to figure out the amount of energy in another reaction. So here we have um, propane that's going through combustion. And so this is all balanced chemical reaction here. Propane plus five moles of oxygen gas yields three moles of carbon dioxide and four moles of water. Okay, and that takes... Um, a change in enthalpy, a evolution, a production of heat, and the amount of negative 2,043 kilojoules. Okay, the next reaction is carbon plus oxygen yields carbon dioxide gas. Um, this takes, this gives off negative, this gives off 393.5 kilojoules. It's a negative because it's giving it off. Um, and then here's just the synthesis of hydrogen gas plus oxygen gas, two moles of hydrogen, one mole of oxygen, to give two moles of water. Um, and this takes negative 483.6 kilojoules, okay? Um, so if we multiply any factor here, um, we would also double the amount of energy. If we flipped it around, the change the reactants in the products, right? That would just change the sign on the amount of energy, on the change in energy. Okay. So what we want to use this for is to find how much energy it would take or make um, three moles of carbon, solid, plus four moles of hydrogen gas okay, um, to make propane, C3H8. That'd be a gas as well. Okay, And we want to know how much energy is that going to take or produce. Okay, um, Hard to measure. All right. But what we can do is we can take our equations here. Um, good way to do this, as I always start, is look at...